Hello, I'm Denise Phillip. I'm the content analyst for Engirati.com and we're coming to you live from the African Utility Week studio. And with us in the studio today, we've got Arno um, Zingole. Um, he's the mayor of a, a very small village um, called Wiltport Street. And you've got some exciting stuff going on there um, as far as uh, renewable energy and clean energy is concerned. Um, do you want to just tell us where your village is and what's been happening there? Uh, yes, our uh, little village uh, is near the Bavarian Alps, near Austria, near Switzerland. And um, yes, we, we asked um, 18 years ago our people, what do you say about the future for our village? See you the future in uh, in new energy, yeah. and uh, say they said uh, yes to us. We uh, must produce a new energy with wind, with biomass, with wood, and with uh, hydropower. Yeah, yeah. And um, what are the goals that have been achieved already? So what? What percentage, what are the numbers that you get from um, clean energy? Are, are, do you, does your village only use clean energy right now? Our goal uh, for the year 2020 is to produce more green energy than we need. Right. Uh, and uh, this goal we reached about uh, four years ago. Okay, so does this extra power get sent back to to the wider grid, or does it get stored and used by the village? Uh, we send the uh, uh, electricity, the power to the grid, but we also uh, use the power in our village. Yeah. yeah. For example, uh, the electricity from hydropower yes. you use at once. The electricity from wind you you give to the grid. Right. Okay. What have been over the over the 18 years or so? What have been the biggest challenges, the biggest obstacles to try and develop this clean energy? Uh, it's very important that the people in our village have uh, the trust in in the protagonists yeah. and the trust to the politic system, the trust to the CEO of the company and our people have this trust. How did you do it? Uh, did you just um, uh, communicate with them throughout the whole process, explain to them the benefits and opportunities? How did you get it right? It's very important that the benefit uh, is also by people. They give us money that we can invest. For example, uh, uh, wind power. Uh, our uh, nine uh, wind power plants are only uh, paid with the money from the people and the benefit returns to the people. All right. Have they, um, have their prices, their electricity prices, have they come down quite a lot over the years? Has renewable energy made the electricity cheaper for, for the people in the village? Uh, the price uh, for the people in the village is the same. Uh, like uh, the price, uh, for example, in Munich. Oh, okay. It's all right. uh, whole Germany. It's about the same. Okay. All right. Interesting. Only little differences. Yeah. Yeah. And um, how can you obviously here at African Utility Week? How can African communities learn from your village? What What messages are you trying to get across, and what can these African communities learn? From, yeah. from your village? I don't know about African villages yeah. uh, and uh, yeah, 
the general uh, conditions may be very different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think it's a question about the trust, the trust to the system, the trust uh, to the protagonists. Uh, if you have uh, the trust of the people, you can do many, many things. Yeah. And the trust is the most uh, important thing also for uh, your renewable energies. Um, I, I suppose the biggest problem um, that we are seeing in Africa is that they, Africa generally has huge natural resources um, you know, to generate, you know, solar, we've got a lot of sun um, and wind, but it seems as if there just isn't enough finance perhaps um, to get these projects started. Do you have any advice as far as that is concerned? It's very important that you have um, people, they invest to the new energies. Yeah. I think uh, uh, that also in uh, South Africa yeah. are many people with money and they could invest in this uh, energy. Every year uh, many uh, people from Africa come to visit my village and uh, they always say, Oh, it's a good investment. Uh, how can we do it in Africa? Yeah. yeah. And what is your advice to them generally? What do you tell them? I, I tell them, uh, please take your money to invest uh, to uh, a clean energy. Yeah. You have more clean energy like we in Europe. You have more sun, you have more wind, uh, you have more biomass. Like, like us, mm -hmm. but uh, there are also in Africa many rich people and they should invest their money to this energy. Yeah, yeah, sound advice, but to put it into action is another story altogether. <laughs> well, thank you so much for um, taking time out during the conference to come and see us. Um, I'm sure that we will connect with you again uh, to hear the progress um, in your village. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Denise from Injurati.